Today we're going to take a look at the E-Series 3D scanning system and how we can use it to do some very simple reverse engineering. So you can see we have our scanner set up on our computer here. It's a pre-calibrated unit, so all we need to do is plug it in and open the software and we can start taking images of a part. And as you can see, when we press scan, these images automatically align directly to the model that's one screen. And so we're just using a Lazy Susan to rotate the part around and get the information that we need for reverse engineering. So today we're actually looking at just building a basic 2D profile of this part in order to make a uh, foam outline for it. So in order to do that, we simply just took a few scans. We're going to combine those scans together and now we're just going to export them out and bring all this information to Rhino. So very quickly, just like that, we can finish up our model and jump over to Rhino. So here inside of Rhino, we're gonna use a plugin called Mesh to Surface. Mesh to Surface is a very easy way to generate uh, any sort of prismatic geometry, uh, lofted or organic surfaces, or any sort of information you need to off of a 3D scan file. So 3D scan file is generally made up of hundreds of thousands of triangles or polygons, and this plugin allows us to break that down into whatever CAD-based shape we need. So right now we're actually coming in and taking some data points through the mid-plane of this part in order to generate a plane. And once we have that plane, we're going to do a little bit of modification as far as the size of the plane, and we're going to just chew it up a little bit more from a visual perspective just to get square to where we think the part should be. So once we have all of this information done, now what we can do is we're going to come in and get the outside profile of this drill. So we're going to create a 3D sketch and we're simply just going to start building a series of splines and lines around our part. Now I have sped up this process to about twice the speed of what it actually took just for time's sake of the video. Uh, so this whole process took about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, but as you'll see here, it's just a very short uh, 30 second clip. So we're simply just working around the outside shape of our part. Uh, we're using a little bit of the midline and we're also coming in and trying to, anywhere that we don't have a midline, we're getting as close to that edge as we can. Uh, you possibly can. The accuracy requirements for this are not super tight, uh, so we're really just more freehanding, making sure everything looks good and it's accurate within uh, 20 thousandths or so of our part that would be perfectly fine for this application, so that's what we're just keeping in mind. Uh, so now that we have all that information, we're going to take that plane and that uh, 3D spline, we're going to convert those over to our basic Rhino software. So we're taking it out of mesh surface into the basic Rhino platform. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our C plane, we're going to set it to that plane that we created. Uh, then once that's done, we're going to transform that 3D spline to a 2D spline on that C plane. Now that we have that, we have all the information that we need to build a 2D profile for, uh, say, a foam cutout uh, or what have you. And just to show that off, we're going to go ahead and extrude that series of curves, curves out as a surface and we'll bring our scan file back in so we can see we can pull that out and we can bring that surface up to wherever we need to. Uh, so for a very quick and simple way of building out this sort of information, you can see it took us less than four or five minutes to do this entire process. Uh, it's very simple, very straightforward. 